Hey guys, welcome back to Easel Does It Studio. My name is Michelle and we are going to do something fun today. So, <laughs> as you can see, I have a ball, I got some spiders, I've got two skulls. This is the Let's Resin skull and this is just an Amazon skull, but we're going to we're going to do both. So, I've been thinking about this this one here in particular for a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these little spiders and I want to UV them to the outside of what's going to be the snow globe type thing. But I can only get like two attached to this and in order to put it in here because it can only be what's like right here so that it doesn't, I don't pop them off when I'm trying to get this ball in there. But once I get the ball in there, I'm hoping I maybe can UV a couple more on there. So I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work, if they're going to pop off when I'm trying to get it in there. But we're going to try it anyways, because you know me, I'll try anything once or twice. This one, I've got these little spiders. I bought these cheap spider rings at Dollar General, and I just cut the bands off so that I have just spiders. Because it doesn't matter what's on this side, because... What I'm going to do is I'm going to UV resin them around inside the skull. And I'm going to put some little ones and some big ones. And yeah. So then once, we, once it's done, what I want to do is I want to be able to glue this big spider on to the skull. So that's my thought. I have some little bat um, glitter pieces or whatever. So I might try and get a few to suspend in, like in the resin throughout. But I, like, again, I don't know if this is going to work. So we are just going to wing it. And then I also have some of the holographic little spiders. So, and I don't really know what color. Obviously, I can't go black because the spiders are not going to show. So I was thinking of like, um, maybe like a smoky blue black, but clear. So like you could still see through it. If I can get it like that, I don't know. And on this one, once we get the spiders on and I get the ball in, I'm probably going to do this in two pours. So I'm thinking having this part with the globe so it's clear, but then doing like a mica powder for this and filling it, the rest of it in with black. So I don't know. I'm still, I'm still working out the final, like what we're going to do first. We got to see if we can get these stupid little plastic spiders into our skulls. <laughs> so I am using the let's resin high viscosity because it's a thicker. High viscosity just means that it's thicker. So it will kind of stay where I put it in, until I cure it. And I do have my UV light, my, I'm using my big one because it's more powerful. So I have got green, purple, orange, and black. So, and I'm just using my little um, wire cutter things and you just snip the, the back of the ring off like that. So we've got four colors. So I'm like, all right, well, let's try and use the four colors. And then we'll try to put a few of the babier, the babier, 
Wow, girl. You need another coffee. So we're going to start. We're going to get this one done, and then we can put this aside and get that. And then we're going to fill this with water with a mica powder, and then we're going to seal it. I might end up cutting this off. I don't know. I'm, I'm still working that out as well. <laughs> so, in fact, I think once we, once we get this one done, I'll probably put you on a pause. I think I have a, a size smaller um, Christmas ball, so I'm going to go and look, but we'll do that after. Let's get on with this. Okay, so, and I want the spiders kind of like going down, so... Let me see. And like some going towards his face, some going away. So it doesn't, see how it doesn't lay flat? So I have to get the resin on where there's some of the plastic hitting the mold. So that way it will have something to adhere to. And you know what I might do? Let me just take... A little silicone, that one's dirty. I'll just take a disposable one. And I'm gonna put the resin in here so that I can use, um, let me get one of my new, my new dotting tools that I was so graciously gifted. And We'll try, we'll try this one because then I can kind of like dot it right where I want it. And I'm going to grab my tweezers or a set of tweezers. Well, I guess I might as well use these ones because these are already yucky. All right. So let's pour... And I'm only going to put a little bit to start. And let's see. And the one good thing about working with a UV resin versus a regular is you don't have to worry about it curing before you want it to. So I got one kind of down, so I'm just gonna cure that a little bit. Keep your light away from your, your little cup here because it will it will cure it. All right, so let me get some. Under this one. I just want it tacked down in a couple of spaces so I don't have to worry about them moving when we pour the resin and um, then floating and being all upside down and everywhere I don't want them. All right, so that's pretty secure. So I'll put a few on and I'm, I don't know if you can see, I'm just trying to drop it like and pushing it under like where one of those things are and then putting some like over the top too all right and then what I'll do is I can set this once I get everything in place then I'll when I'm mixing my resin I'll just pop these under my double-sided UV light <clears throat> All right, so let me see if 
we can put one like he's coming down his face. Oh, I want one in the very bottom. I know that. So let's get that one in first. And that way I'm not fighting everything else that I've already put in. Oh, come on, get back there. Now we stuck in the tweezers. These dang spiders, they're not very cooperative. All right. Just gonna tip that up on its side. All right, so we got one. There's only like three of three spots on this spider that is like at, actually touching the mold. Oh, come on. Like I said, I don't know how these are going to turn out because these are just cheapy spider thingies, but it could be kind of cool. All right, so that one is touching. Maybe I'll use the bigger end so I can get a little bit more. Oh, yeah, that might work better. And I'm just making sure I'm shining it away from my little pot of UV resin over there. And this mold is pretty see-through, so it cures from both sides. And I'm just going to put a little bit more on... on these two. You know, I could have probably just gone in with the bottle, but I just figured this might make it a little bit easier. So this video is probably going to be long. I'm just letting you know now all right, let's try and get um, a small one in here. Oh, yeah, right there. So this one, <laughs> I am, we're just going to put some UV resin right right on this spider because he kind of sits nice and flat right in there. <laughs> Who would have thought me would be playing with skulls and spiders? Yeah. Not in a million years I would have thought that. But these are so fun and they sell so good. Um... All right, that one's in place. Let's hold this and we're gonna do the same, the same thing. I gotta remember to do the right side. And I'm just putting it up on some of the, the higher spots. And 
let's stick this one right there. get that one in and squirt some more in here and we're going to take the big end Back in there. And I do have a bubble in that last drop I just put in there, but that's okay. It'll just give him some character. see how it's and then those hopefully those dots will just disappear in the regular resin and we gotta get um, I'm trying to see which way they're going so I'm putting them in different so that one's going up that one's going in so we'll put this one ah and I just popped that one off Crap. All right. I'm just going to try to put another dot on those where I kind of popped him off. and just kind of re-secure that one just a little bit. And then I'm gonna put one more small one in and then this one's gonna be done. These I just got on Amazon and <clears throat> All right, so we're going to put this one in his teeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's going to be adding some, some little bit, a little bit of jizz coming out of his teeth, and spiders. All right, so that one is done. Oh, lordy, lordy. All right, so these ones, the only the little ones can I can 
put on this ball because it's, oh, I'm going to put you on a pause and go look and see if I can find smaller ones. Hang on. Yes, guys, I did have some smaller ones. All right, so see the difference? All right, so we're going to put this over there and... Still goes in hard, but I should be able to UV some on, especially once we have a little bit of resin in there. So it's it's hard to move the ball around when there's no resin. So, all right, let's get a few of these just on. All right. So, how do I want that? Yeah, because I want them like that, so they're going to, because that's the part you're going to see. So, all right, so I know this part is going to go in, so, and like I said, I, I don't know if this is going to work or not. They might just pop right off once I try to put it in there. I've been thinking about this one a long time, but I couldn't find the spider small enough for what I, I needed. <clears throat> All right. And let's see. So we're going to put it in like that. So I can put one like right there. All right. And we're gonna have the spider kind of going in a different direction. And like I said, I will pop these under the light once I start mixing up my resin. Trying to get a little bit on the back side if I can. All right. Oh crap, now that ain't gonna fit in there. Let me grab a different cup. Well, what in the world? Well, I guess we're going to have to do it sideways. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking. So, the next thing I'm thinking, what color uh, mica powder do we use? I'm thinking red, maybe like bloody. Yeah, let's do red. <clears throat> Let's do some red mica powder. And I'm going to put, uh, let's see. Maybe I mix it up in a paper cup first, and then we can pour it in. That might be the smarter. Well, guys, I'm actually kind of using my brain today. I am, I am. All right, so I I don't know how much this is going to take. So we're just going to put a bunch. We're going to put a bunch. We're going to stir it around and see what we get. All right, so I want it really, really... Um, goopy. All right. Let me get my... So I don't know. I might add a little bit of glycerin to this too, just to slow it down a little bit. 
is that? It's like not wanting to mix. All right, let me grab my, my glycerin. And we're gonna pour it in a bigger cup because I am not able to mix it good. Now I did blue and I it worked really good. This one doesn't look like it's going to Probably should have went back and watched my video when I did the blue one. Yeah, I guess it's I guess it's swirling, but because it's a low um, container, it's kind of hard to really see. Get this cleaned up. All right. So let's see, we're gonna pour, we'll pour some in here and then we'll pour it. That way I can squeeze it. Sparkle stuff will do anything. Oh. <laughs> Who knows? I don't. We're just, this is all just an experiment. Just uh, and the thing is, is if I don't like it in the ball, then I can just like empty it out and start over. So, it's not quite giving me what, what I wanted. So, we're going to just The red isn't giving as much of a, a shimmer as the other mica powder that I use. So let me, <clears throat> I mean, it, it, you can see it moving. I don't know if you can on camera or not, but let's get... Let's add a little bit of this watermelon to it and just see what it does. We all just see. <laughs> oh. Okay. 
because that's just, it's a different color. So hopefully it will All right, so that is looking pretty good as far as the color. I just need to add a little bit more of the glycerin to slow it down. So let me get this out of the way and we're gonna finish letting those bubbles kind of some of this powder to kind of mix in. I mean, it should dissolve. I don't know if Oh, hey, alcohol worked. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just the, the powder that's not completely mixed. So we're going to do this. Oh, if I could just get it to cure like that, that would be kind of cool. Oh, that just gave me an idea. <laughs> All right, so I just want to make sure I get that mixed up good. again. All right. So I just sucked a little bit of the water out. I want to keep it as full as possible. And I'm going to set that there. And I'm going to make, i got to clean the spot really good. And I am going to make a, a little... Than 
I used to make like cut clear plastic, but this actually works a little bit better. And I don't want to cure it much. I want it, I want it to be pliable, not fully cured. quite big enough, but that's all right. We'll just make another, a little half moon. Kind of like that. that and now we're going to cure that <laughs> and then I'm going to cover it with more UV all right Just gonna go around the whole thing. And because this is the high viscosity, it is not gonna run off and go down the side of the ball, which it really wouldn't matter because once it's in the um inside of the globe, you're not really gonna see it especially because I'm going to put the black in the very bottom, like towards the teeth, and I'm going to have this little space thing, the space thing, the little step-up piece, this thing, facing the teeth. All right, so... Because the last time I had a little bit of a leak, and I want to make sure I don't have a leak this time. All right, so I've got to continue curing that underneath my big light. But, um, so let me go ahead. I'm going to put you on a pause. I'm going to get these cured. I'm going to get my resin mixed up. This one we're going to fill all the way. This one, I'm going to try and catch it right so that we don't have a line, but I'm going to tip it at an angle and we're only going to fill it. Hmm. I'm going to try to just fill it like behind the eyes, like right in there, if I can. Um, so that's the plan. So I will be back. I'll get some of this mess cleaned up and get these cured and I will be back. All right. So what I did is I mixed up six ounces for this one and four ounces for this one. And I did run them through the debubbler. So I'm just going to move this over here for now because I want to get this in. So this is the You really can't see it on camera. Is I'm not liking that color, but I don't know. Maybe once it's in the resin, 
but it's not leaking. I did five minutes under the light. So I am gonna pour a little bit. I'm gonna spray with alcohol and we're gonna get a little bit in the bottom. And we're gonna try, like heck, to get this in without popping our spiders. And, all right. So I'm probably gonna end up going up a little higher than I wanted. I'm probably gonna try to come up to here, um, but, now that we have this, let's grab some more spiders because now I should be able to like kind of move it around in there. And hopefully, get my light. Um, I'm gonna turn it a little bit so I can kind of get one here and I'm just putting a dot and then we're gonna take our spider put it on there and we're gonna give it a cure This way a little bit. And I'm just gonna that way it'll help move it around a little bit more, hopefully. And let me see here. And my resin. Now I've never tried putting UV resin on top of wet resin, so I don't know if that's gonna do anything or not, but and he's sliding. Where's my spiders? And and we'll put one here. All right. And we're just gonna we're gonna go with that it's gonna be a few but I mean we'll see if it works I might be able to wedge like one down in the resin once I pour it
And if it doesn't work, we'll have floating spiders. Yeah. <coughs> All right, so let's gonna get the rest of this poured in and kind of see where we end up. So I'm trying to spiders is falling off so this might be a fail who knows so what I'll try to do is catch it um, when it's tacky and I'm going to put a few more spiders in there. Let me just take this. And just going to see if might just oh yeah it's gonna stay there guys oh my goodness all right so let's just plop another one right there <laughs> I didn't think these guys were gonna kind of stay as good as they are Come on, get, I want you down there. There we go. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna let that get to the tacky and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and color that with a, uh, like a chameleon powder or whatever and then we'll just fill the rest up with the clear. All right, so I just, I didn't, I didn't want to uh, mix up the black and the blue if I knew I was gonna need more. So, all right, I'm just gonna mix it and if we have extra, we have extra. because that's four ounces and that's um, so all right I'm gonna put we're gonna do four and a half just to be on the safe side so I opened up my this is the let's resin black alcohol ink and I'm only gonna put like I said I don't want it to be I want it to be kind of on the darker side, but not too much. I want those spiders to still show through. All right, so I just, I gotta mix this and try not to get bubbles, but. Now this is definitely much darker in here because it's deep. Let me grab a paper towel so we can kind of see what the color is. So it's a lighter blue. Um, all right, I think we're gonna just, we're gonna go with that because I'm afraid if I add anything else, it's going to get too dark. I am going to, I'm going to try to suspend some of these 
holographic um, spiders. I'm not going to go with a lot, but I would like to put a couple of spiders and a couple of bats. And then we're going to use the glue and try and suspend them. seem like they might float, but I'm not taking a chance. So, just two drops of glue. And we're gonna, we're just gonna pour. So if I need to add the other two ounces, I definitely can. But see how gloopy that is? And that's from the glue. Ah! Just what I didn't want to do. is what it is now. All right, we are going to need and we're pr I'm probably going to have to make up more. Well, what the crap? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm only, I'm not going to put any more of the blue. I'm just going to do the black and try to get just like a smoky. And we're going to do a drop of glue and some more of these. spiders. So I'm hoping that the bubbles will just slowly like work their way out. up. God, and I thought I was going to have extras. All right, so I'm going to have to mix up definitely another couple of ounces. I will, I'll do that off camera and then I'll just, I'll come back for the demold but because I know these little spider things are staying, they kind of like suspended in here. Um, let's go ahead and let's see how these ones I, I'm, I'm in shock. I did not expect them to just um, like float like that. 
<laughs> All right. So I will mix up a little bit more and then I will be back for the uh, final results. And I'm not going to tap them because I don't want anything to kind of fall off there. So I'm just going to, I'll be back in a few. Alrighty guys, so we're back. This one is, it's hard, but it's not quite ready. These are a few extras here in the back, but this one here is ready. Now I had a few bubbles. I had to leave and go pick up my granddaughter at work, but this is the resin that I am using. These are the um, the one gallon. Each one is a gallon, so it's two gallons. This is just the epoxy resin. So this is what I'm using. So what I did is I mixed up two ounces of A and two ounces of B, and we're making four more ounces to finish filling this in. But before we fill it in, I'm going to use the Let's Resin Chameleon Powder, and we are going to use the teal color. So right now I have my four ounces or five ounces of resin. I think I mixed up five ounces. So it was two and a half and two and a half. Um, but we are going to just move that out of the way, and we're going to brush this Chameleon powder on. So I do have a few bubbles, so I popped them with my pokey stick. So because it stills it's still a little bit soft. It's it's firmer than I wanted it to be. Put it that way. Um so <clears throat> there are a few little <clears throat> bumps of the resin. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick them off before I brush this um, chameleon powder on. And once I start putting the powder on, I will be able to tell more where there is a piece of dried resin and then we can peel it off and um, hopefully, you know, there's a few pieces, but so I am just going to take this chameleon powder with a brush that it comes with, and I am just going to cover everything that is not exposed to the resin. So you can see right there, there's a few spots. So I will um, end up picking those off and then we will re-coat it. <coughs> because if I don't, what's gonna happen is those areas are going to um, just have black through them. So, I mean, we could leave it that way or we could take the time to clean it up. So, and there's actually a lot of spots. So I just might leave it just because it's gonna, it, it's gonna take me a bit if I try and clean all of those little spots off. All right, so we've got that covered. And I am just, I'm gonna try and brush a little bit on the rest of it. Just to kinda, I don't know, give it a little juj. 
because now the next coat that we're putting in is going to be black. So we are let's see if we can just kind of scrape some of those little pieces off without breaking the seal to what we already have. All right, so I'm just going to, I'm kind of running it sideways, just trying to break some of those little bubbles that might be attached and then we're just going to go back over with our brush and I mean you just you want to kind of cover as much as you can but I also don't want to break that seal that we've already got going on. All right. So we are just going to call that good. Let me move that and let me clean this up. <laughs> My resin is just about done. All right. So let's move this over and I'm just going to spray some alcohol and we're just going to kind of clean up what we can. You know, I've got them bats everywhere. I'm going to be picking those up for the next week, I'm sure. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so let me grab that resin. All right, and let me grab my black pigment paste. All right, so I don't know how much more we're going to need, but I mixed up five ounces just to be on the safe side. All right. So we're just gonna, and I, this one here I just bought on Amazon. I don't even know what brand it is, but I like it. It works good. All right. So we've got most of the bubbles out of our resin. And I think I mixed up too much. It's like, I, I, I don't know. I just, I can't get one way or the other. I, I either don't mix up enough or I mix up way too much. So this is, all right. So we've got this mixed up. It's five ounces. Um, let me just wipe my stick down here. And I just did a little bit of alcohol in there just so that when I pour this, we can try and alleviate any bubbles. So now I'm not keeping it on the slant anymore. I'm just going to put it flat down and it's going to be what it is going to be. All right. And like I figured, we've got way too much. So let me figure out here what we've, <clears throat> yeah, so I pretty much have three ounces left. Oh my word, go figure, go figure. All right, we're gonna spritz that with some alcohol 
And like I said, this one is, is done. We're just waiting on this. And I can already see that I way, way over poured. So we need to scoop some out. Oh. Let's see what that does. All right, so now, <coughs> um, let's see. All right, so we've got about three and a half ounces left. So let me, let me find something. <coughs> Pour that in. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what? I just got a <laughs> Where, where is it? <coughs> oh, right here. I just got a new mold. <coughs> and I'm not even going to tell you what it is, but we're going to pour it. And before we pour it, I am, I am, I am. All right, we're going to just cover this in this mint chameleon powder. Because <clears throat> I'm hoping that is going to take up the majority of that. So I'm just using my switching sponge and cleaning off my brush. And we are just going to cover the whole inside of this mold with this mint color. So I was going to do a separate video on just this, but since we have extra, because I know you guys like extras, Let's just go ahead and, because we all know that the chameleon powders work better with a black background, right? So let's just go ahead and cover this. Now, I don't, this is a brand, like you, you saw me open it. So I don't even know how much this is going to take, but I'm going to give it a shot. All right. So I'm going to clean this off. We're going to move this and we're going to cover this. <coughs> All right. So let's just... Go ahead, and we're going to pour and hope and pray that it's enough. Oh, I think it's, yes, it's going to be, it's going to be, yes. Oh, now I should have, I should have squeezed it beforehand, but... I was like, I just want it to be enough. All right, so. All right, let's leave that. And all right, let me grab my moose mold or my elk or whatever everybody is calling them these days. <laughs> and I don't think we have quite two ounces. Um, 
No, we do not. We have one ounce. All right. So we are not going to have enough to do this one. So let me go ahead and find something that we can put the one ounce in. And then I will be back for demold. Pop that bubble. And then we'll do the extra then. Alrighty, guys. I'll be back. Alrighty, guys. It's the next day. And I am dying to see how these turned out. So I did have a little bit of black. So I just poured this little mousse thingy. So we're not going to demold that because um, I can fill him up at another time. Oh, look. Look how pretty. That is one of the flowers from the um, BB Craft set. Now, I was afraid that I was going to get bubbles. Let me see. Look at that. That is beautiful, and there's no bubbles. All right, and we know this is the into resin little moon. Look at the sparkle in that. All right, let's do the snow globe first because I don't know. Um, I don't know how that one is going to have turned out. <laughs> and I don't know how this one's going to have turned out either. So I guess we're going to find out. But it's totally hard. I'm just going to kind of loosen it up. I, I'm going to I'm going to get a paper towel ready cuz I'm going to put some soapy water in there. I definitely like the soapy water. Um, I was kind of nervous at first when I started using it because I was like, ah, oh, the soap residue in the mold, but it doesn't seem to bother it yet. But I do find that Oh, there we go. I was going to say the alcohol seems to make it slide a little bit more easy at times. But maybe it's just the mold. Oh, all right. <laughs> Let's wipe this bugger up. All right. So where is my deburring tool? All right, I'm just going to get these sharp edges off. I literally just got up. I had a coffee and then I'm like, okay, I have got to go down and demold so I can see if we have success or failure. All right, <coughs> just push my mess to the side a little bit. All right, are we ready? So a lot of the spiders ended up floating, staying to the top, but there are a few. There's one in his nose. One down here, one go into his eye. So it is kind of cute. Does kind of give that spooky. But see how they kind of, even though I, I kept poking them down. And I'm not getting that mica effect in the. With this particular color. I mean, it kind of still is cool, but. Uh, 
All right, so that's that one. This one, you can see they seem to have stayed more suspended, but I used the glue in this one. So this one poked up a little bit. So there is that. And this, this mold seems to demold much easier than the Let's Resin. It's a little bit thinner. All right, so let's get this bad boy back inside out. All righty. Oh, this one is really cool. And there are micro bubbles, which I knew there was going to be. But that's kind of cool, guys. You can see all the stuff that is like suspended all the way through. Got a couple of the holographics up on the top, which is neat. <sighs> all right, I think I like it. Um, let me just do this because it's a little sharp and you know me, I will cut myself for sure. I'm like, well, this video so long anyhow, I might as well deburr them while I'm doing it. All right, so let's see this little guy. This is a brand new mold. Oh, this is really soft. This is, oh, look at how cute. <laughs> oh, he's so adorable. Oh, he is adorable. Now, I got this, I believe I got this one on Amazon. If I can find the link, I will put it in the description box. And remember, I used the, the Let's Resin Epoxy Resin to pour these. Oh, he is adorable. And, I mean, you could color his, his little flowers in on his shell. You could, you know, do the, um, yeah, the... The paint pens, my word. All right, so let's give him some little eyeballs here. And this is just a black Sharpie. And I have got to get me some new um, micro brushes because I am out. I am totally out of my micro brushes, so. All right. Let's get his other one done. And he is a matte mold. <laughs> he is adorable. Alrighty, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. So we had one success and one uh, kind of in between. 
but he's still cool. But I really, really like this. I wished I had gone a little bit lighter on the color. But other than that, it's really, really cute. Other than the bubbles, but... And what I was thinking of doing, I don't know, is I was thinking about doing something like that and like have some jewels come down, but I don't know. I've had a lot of men buy these, <coughs> so I don't know. So this one here has got a, like a, oh, it's from the UV resin. You can see the marks from the dots but I could color them with something or we could put something over it. So yeah, um, I will think about it and I don't know, I might put something, but I mean the skull, it's, it's cool. I'm just disappointed that my spiders, I should have put glue in there to keep them suspended like this one because this is just really cool minus the bubbles but they're just all in there like <laughs> alrighty guys I'm gonna let you go because this video is gonna be way long anyways have a nice day guys thanks for tuning in don't forget if you haven't subscribed please do so it helps my channel a lot I love you guys thank you bye bye